I grew up in a rural part of Northern California, and it's about the uh, field behind the house where I grew up. And this part is about a game that I played with some of the boys who were neighbors. I forget who proposes the game. I'm 10 or 11 now, and it is late summer. The bleached grass is as tall as I am. We are crawling around on the hard clay on our hands and knees, invisible to each other, trying to find each other while trying not to be found. If we discover someone, we are supposed to tackle them and shout to the others. But if someone catches me, Jack says, they have to grab my boobs, which are just beginning to develop. I'm not sure why I play along, probably because I don't want to feel left out. But the thought of one of them tackling me, clumsy fingers squashing my chest makes me shudder. It feels unfair that my body should be different, should somehow provoke different rules, should be a singular prize. I don't have the words yet to explain to myself why it fills me with dread. My changing body has already made me a target. Girls at school snap my bra, and another boy once groped me while we were swimming together in the Russian River. I was streaming through the green water, my body at home among the algae and small fish, when he swam up beside me, paced me for a few strokes, and clapped his hands onto my breast like someone snuffing out a pair of candles. I froze heart pounding and darted away to the shore. I never told anyone about it, and no one ever warned me that this might happen, that one day my body might become like the produce section at the market where everyone can sample you, grab and squeeze you, test you for ripeness. Dirt grinds into my jeans as I crawl through the tall grass and my palms and knees are sore from the dry ground. I move as quietly as I can, heat and dust tickling the back of my nose and throat. It's easy to keep away from the boys. Their noisy movements give away their locations and they can't keep from laughing. Mostly, I'm not trying to catch anyone. I'm focused on not getting caught. Eventually, I get tired of hide and seek and I crawl my way out. Sitting on the edge of the field, I watch the golden stalks bend in response to the boys' movements. The twisting paths, they flatten into the landscape. It now resembles a maze with no entry point and no finish line, a spaghetti tangle of pathways. One by one, they emerge at different edges of the field, Tired and sweaty, dirty and still laughing. Nobody has won unless you count me because I escaped. Thank you.